kinsmen do see thee, they will murder thee. If the kinsmen do see thee... Shea, put down your book. We don't do our work at the dinner table. Sorry, Daddy. I have to memorize Juliet for Mr. Hall's class. Oh. Yeah. No, no, absolutely not. I can't talk right now. I'm having dinner with my daughter. I'm not even going to think about what dirty trick Stan Hafner is planning this time. Oh, no, Daddy. Danny Hafner? What are you fighting about now? His client is bribing supermarkets to keep our client, Global Snacks, off the shelves. But their nacho whiffies are killer. Daddy, the work you are doing is so totally Bill of Rightsy. Hey, sorry I'm late for dinner. I was just at the mall and share. I think I might sort of need your advice on something. Okay, what? Okay, you know I've been going out with Yamina for about a week now. Well, Saturday's her birthday, and I wanted to get her something. Well, let's see. Okay, first, this. But wait. This. I got this. Josh, you can't give a girl any of those. A keychain and tote bag? But look. Well, scrunchies. I guess these could be okay. What's her hair like? Short. <laughs> but you know how girls are always letting it grow out? Josh, when you went shopping, did you happen to buy a clue? <laughs> well, uh, I don't suppose maybe you could come with me to the mall and... Josh, you know, I think you might be able to twist her arm. Yeah? That must be the deposition from half that. I'll get him. This boy with my father's papers is the most trollworthy boy on the planet. This is exactly what my father needed. He hasn't met a cute, um, an important paper in a really long time. Um, if it's not right, how about I, I leave my phone number and you could call me and tell me? Perfect. In case I have to call, I'm Cher. <laughs> I, I know who you are. I mean, who doesn't at Bronson Alcott? You go to my school? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Skylar. So... Here, I, I... I got these for you. <laughs> Cher, how long does it take you to answer the door? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Come here. What are you doing? Do you know who that boy is? Skylar. Skylar Hafner! Oh, what a coincidence. His last name is the same as your arch rival? This is not a joke. You could be privy to confidential information. So could he. But, Daddy, he goes to my school. I want you to stay away from him. OK. I get it, Daddy. And if he's anything like his father, there's no reason for you to be interested in him. Can you believe that because of Nacho Tater Teenies, I'm not allowed to see Skylar Hafner? Oh, wait, Torrid. <laughs> That's it. So My relationship with your relationship is officially over, okay? Yeah. All during biology, I'm listening to Skylar moan about, what did she do? What does she like to eat? <laughs> Can you give these to her, please? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fat you free gummy know, fish. Oh, they're so hard to find. Right. Skylar Hafner has a major crush. It is the worst All right, class. Yes. And uh, perhaps we can uh, turn our attention to some actual Stop. academic endeavors. Some Romeo and Juliet performances. Who's the pretty girl in the mirror there? What mirror where? Who can that attractive girl be? Which one where? Who? Such a pretty dress, such a pretty face, such a pretty smile, such a pretty me. Amber, thank you. The assignment was to do a scene from Romeo and Juliet. Duh. I guess you're not aware that West Side Story is the modern musical update of the Shakespearean tragedy. That's... Unacceptable. You have been incomplete until you fulfill the assignment. And now, Sean and Cher will do the famous balcony scene. <clears throat> oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. Hmm. Call me but Romeo. Henceforth, I never will be him. If. You see thee, they will murder thee. I would not for the world that they saw thee here. <laughs> what 
Oscar Klipscher, you were so conveying how Juliet was obviously obsessive. Well, it felt so natural. I bet this is what they mean by method acting. How was my Romeo? I laughed. I cried. Other name? Um, flowers for Cher Horowitz? Yeah. Horses for Cher. Thank you. Ow. How come you don't send me flowers? How come you don't send me gummy fish? I don't want to hear it. Oh, uh, class, uh, while I have your ear, remember to uh, sign up for your parent-teacher conferences. Dee, I have got to stop thinking about Skylar Hafner. A camisole? Josh, you have been dating her for a week. So? Well, this is a six-month gift, and only if you're exclusive. Now, you need something that steps over the more than friends line but not so much over that you're into possible rejection territory and says happy birthday all at the same time. Oh, right. How about a CD? Mm, risky. Book? Yawn. How about some really nice note paper? Josh, summer fling. I'll read you all winter. Can't wait to see you next July. Not. Oh, Cher, I'm so lost here. Hey, OK. Why don't you go and get yourself a milk and browse the reference section of the bookstore? And I'll pick out a present. Yes, thank you. You're so good to me. Yes, I am. Good. I haven't thought about Skylar in five minutes. And before that, three minutes. And before that, four minutes. That's 12 minutes. <gasps> Those are the exact shoes I crave. That's better. Hey, Cher. Cher, is that you? Skylar? Now I think he's talking to me. Oh, and I've been doing so well. Cher! Skylar? Skylar? Skylar, where are you? Over here. Oh, Cher. Only you could look so beautiful in this harsh small light. Oh, Skylar. Oh, I so want to hang with you. But I can't because my father would disown me. Don't take it personally. It's only because your your last name is Half. And I can't see you because you're a Horowitz. How bogus is that? I mean, what's in a name? Personally, I don't care what Johnny Depp's name is. He's still a Baldwin. Then I'll change my name. If that's what it takes to be your main. Then I'll no longer be a Horowitz. I'll be Cher Travolta. Nah. But I can't just be Cher because that would be too weird. Although Madonna is just Madonna. Look, look stay right there. I'm gonna come and meet you. Cher! Cher! I need another half hour! Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's get 
trinkets and fortunes inside. And girls like this? Josh, it's great. It's caring, but not too caring, and it's not something you could get for yourself. Any girl would love to get this as a present. OK, let's go. Oh, uh, by the way, Cher, I saw you. Oh, no. The burden's going to tell on me. Josh, I am majorly smitten. I can't be responsible for my actions. Haven't you ever felt that way? Yeah, of course. Hi, guys. Oh, well. <clears throat> Cher, I think you had fun at the mall, huh? Ooh, Cher had a great time. There were sales everywhere. I'm gonna get something to eat. Sweetheart, I want to thank you for not seeing that boy. Oh, you're welcome. I know it's probably hard for you, and maybe you think it's silly, but it's very important to me. The integrity of my case. I really appreciate you respecting my request. I feel sick. No wonder they wrote a whole play about this. Therefore, stay yet. Thou needs not to be gone. Let me be put to death. Amber, the assignment was one character per person. Now we had the same discussion after your Blanche Dubois Stanley Kowalski debacle. If you were fair, you would give me two grades. Would you like two C's? <laughs> All right, class, uh, let's take another stab at the uh, star-crossed lovers, shall we? If only Mr. Hall knew the extent to which I was relating to this tragedy. Well, you'll definitely ace the final. So, our next performance, uh, singular, will be Murray Cuscio. <laughs> Some days I wish my dad would forbid me from seeing Murray. One second, Miss Hall. <sighs> oh! Zounds! Miss Hall, may I interject something here, please? What is it, Murray? Well, if this dude had any instinct concerning conflict intervention, he could have got the, the, the Montagues and the Capulets to kiss and make up. Yeah, Thus, know. Romeo and Juliet, not to mention Mercutio, would be alive today. Good point. Project, if I want to date Skylar, mm -hmm. I have to think of a way to get the authorities together. <laughs> Mission impossible. Not to discourage you. Well, class, uh... I notice that uh, everyone has failed. What? 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 To what? sign up for parent-teacher conferences. Uh -huh. Thank you, Mr. Hall. The problem is, my excessive creativity cannot be adequately expressed within the pedestrian confines of a book report. You didn't read the book, did you? I'm going to pencil it in. Yeah, right after I pencil in my footprint on your behind. She seems to think that every assignment is open to interpretation. Well, Princess is so uh, creative. Yes, but it can have a tendency to disrupt the learning process. She's just naturally the center of attention. Princess, people can't help but gravitate to you. I know, Daddy. <laughs> See? I'm perfect. <laughs> yes, yes. Can we go now? Of course, Princess. Well, uh, there were... Uh, hmm? Bye. Goodbye. I'm arriving, okay? Oh, wonderful, Princess. Cher! Ah, Mr. Horowitz! Mr. Hall. <clears throat> Please, sit down. I'm concerned about Cher. I want to make sure that she's working up to her potential. Well, Cher has an uncanny ability to uh, illustrate... How majorly you end. Daddy, this is the perfect opportunity for you to settle your differences on neutral territory. Daddy. Good evening, Hafner. How you doing? Mr. Hafner, there seems to be uh, some mix-up. Uh, I'm with the Horowitzes now, so if you wouldn't mind... Well, no problem, Mr. Hall. Uh, 
I'm used to him uh, taking up time. You're lucky it's me going against Worldwide Chips and not the Federal Trade Commission. Uh, I excuse me, but why would the Federal Trade Commission be interested in good old American competition? Try tortoise interference? Yeah! Oh, come on, give me a break. All I did was ask appropriate questions. I think we thought our dads could get along. Uh, what do you mean, we thought? Sure. Yeah. Have you been seeing this boy? I thought I told you that would be a complete conflict of interest. What if you leaked privileged information? But, Daddy... I told you this was strictly forbidden. But, Dad... You're grounded. And you're under house arrest. Let's go. Stop making goo-goo eyes. I want your cell phone. Both of them. And I'm disconnecting your email. <gasps> Daddy forgot about the facts. The tragedy of today is too much to bear. I must see you somewhere we can be alone. Meet me at my dad's ex-wife number three's guest house in the Palisades. Directions to follow. At last, we're alone. Hidden from the world. Finally, we can forget about the hatred our fathers have for each other. Can't they understand? How can they deprive their own flesh and blood of the only happiness they'll ever know? Doth not my heart break on seeing thy countenance? Um, we're not up to that part yet. Aha! The teenage runaways. Young man, you are in so deep. Oh, no. You're dead. Daddy, we weren't running away. I just had to see him. How did you find us? I found this fax in the garbage. Daddy, I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it, Chad. You understand? Wait a minute. What is this? It's delicious. It's obviously a worldwide chip. Actually, it's a mix of the two. Huh. Your chip adds a needed crunch to our superior flavoring. So, if the two companies got together, hey, we could market these little devils. We would ultimately rule the entire snack food nation. <laughs> I like that. We'd be stepping in our gut. The Hafners and the Horowitzes were way more mature than the Montagues and the Capulets. The superpowers did, in fact, merge, creating a complete monopoly. Finally, I was free to see Skylar. Only during daylight hours, of course, since I was still grounded. This is so cool that we can date now. What do you say we go back to the mall on Saturday? Oh, Skylar, you are such an A+. -plus. A boy who actually wants to go to the mall. Oh, uh, yeah. Saturday's the, the sneak preview of the Escape to L.A. video game at the arcade. There's an arcade at the mall? Yeah, haven't you ever been to the arcade? I'll show you. I'm, uh, I'm high score on 10 of the games. Well, maybe we could go and see the Winter Boots at Privilege first, and then you could show me the arcade. Boots? Well, we could split up and then get together later for a movie. Brad Pitt and Mel Gibson both have new movies opening this weekend. I, I was thinking Monkey Boy with Jim Carrey, you know? <laughs> Monkey Boy? <laughs> Jim Carrey? Wait. I say potato and you say... Spud? <laughs> this really isn't gonna work, is it? We can work on it. We could compromise. I don't mind going to the arcade. I'll watch. No. You'll only make me feel guilty and I won't get as high as school. Mm. Besides, if you don't even like Jim Carrey, I just don't think this is gonna work. Maybe you're right. Sadly, it came down to artistic differences. Thus, the curtain crashes down on my days as Juliet. I drown my sorrows in some cranberry ankle boots from privilege. Hopefully, I'll go on to find a nice boy and a purse to match. Uh-oh. Three new pairs of shoes? 
You got dumped, huh? No. I needed suede to go with my heavier skirt. It's all right. I'm in the same boat. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the wrong gift. No, no, it was the wrong girl. Turns out she was expecting a gold bracelet or something. But, you know, that's a going out for over a year, already met her parents kind of gift. Exactly. <sighs> Actually, you kind of saved me. I mean, if we were up to her, we'd be married by next week. Ew. Well, I guess I won't be needing this. Why don't you keep it? Thank you, Josh. Hey, you want to do something? A movie? The new, um, Jim Carrey's opening up. Oh. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing the new Mel Gibson. 